Quality Function Deployment, QFD. It's time now to learn how to transform user needs into technical variables. This process should be conducted by the whole design team together. Discussion about every single need is the most meaningful way of achieving suitable technical variables. Let's consider this example. The design team is responsible for translating the user needs into technical variables so that they can be quantified. Considering our design team is working in the development of a new helmet, they can face requirements such as The product should be comfortable, but how to design a comfortable helmet? Which technical variables should be considered? It seems to be a challenge. Can we measure this with a single variable? No, so it is necessary to deploy other characteristics. Consequently, how can we measure that a product is comfortable? Well, there are several variables that can be related to the comfort of a helmet. Any suggestion? The weight of the helmet can affect the comfort perception of the user, moreover, if it is used for long time periods. The internal temperature is also a critical factor for the comfort perception. If it is very warm, it causes the user to sweat, affecting his driving experience. The size also influences the comfort perception of the user. This is too tight, it might even hurt the user, not just during its use, but also in the process of putting it on and taking it off. Let's consider now a more complex example. In our interview, user expressed the need of having a helmet that makes less force backwards with the speed. I would like to make less effort in my neck, as the helmet pushes my head backwards while riding at high speeds. This need was interpreted as the system facilitates the flow through the wind. Okay, our user wants the system to facilitate the flow through the wind. But how to quantify it? Well, it really depends on the shape of the helmet, but how to measure the shape? Well, I can imagine we can measure the volume. Yes, but the same volume can have multiple shapes. Don't worry, we can always have more levels. Volume can be broken down into depth and cross-sectional area. Yes, you're right. Actually, the cross-sectional area is the most critical parameter when considering the volume variable. But, hold on. There is another important variable. The variable that pushes my head backwards is the drag force and it depends on variables. The equation from the literature is, some variables are non-controlled by our design team, such as the fluid density, air density for this case, speed, given by the motorcycle. Consequently we can modify the drag coefficient and the cross-sectional area to determine the shape, the aerodynamic coefficient. Right. Then the first level would be the shape, the second the volume and finally the cross-sectional area and depth. Our design team have found out the way to quantify the user need interpreted as the system facilitates the flow through the wind. Now the obtained variables can be added to the template. That is how technical variables are derived.